Hey everybody, um, this deck needs to be banned because look, this guy has infinite ma has an infinite mana generator. Now here's why this is an infinite mana generator. Bishop of Wings here. As you can see, I lost. But I will explain why this deck needs why a certain card needs to be banned. Bishop of Wings here can produce a spirit every time an angel dies under your control. Not that bad of a card. To devotion, to white. Eh. Kalar, Kaikar, Winds, Fury, whatever the fuck you say his name, I don't care. <clears throat> Whenever you cast a non creature spell, create a 1 1 flying spirit creature token with flying, as you can see here. Sacrifice a spirit, add one red mana. Now, let's look in our opponent's graveyard. Hmm, what's this do? Hmm, arcane adaptation. As arcane adaptation enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control are are the chosen type in the creature's in addition to their other types. Same is true for creature spells you control. Creature cards you own that aren't on the... And cards that aren't on the battlefield. So, does anybody else see the problem here, wizards? This is an infinite fucking combo. It needs to go away. And, oh looky, it's running Ugin. Of because of course, this guy got this fucking thing off on turn four. A turn four infinite combo is bullshit. I don't care if it's not fun to ban things. That combo is not fun to play against because look at the fucking life total. This was at turn fucking four. This needs to be banned immediately, wizards. Emergency ban this shit, because you're gonna see it in a tournament. I goddamn guarantee you. Somebody is gonna play this deck. And look, it's so easy to get going. You play this turn one, you play this next turn, you play this Steam Vents, then you play the Boros version of Steam Vents, what is it, Sacred Foundry, Tree. And then, boom, your combo's good to fucking go. And you get a free sack trigger with Sahili here. So, all of this is a problem. Ugin is a problem. Arcane Adaptation is the problem card in this deck, and this deck dies without it. This deck is cancerous. It needs to go the fuck away. I don't give a shit if it if it destroys a, if it gets rid of a deck. This deck needs to go. There's another deck that's out on the fucking meta that really needs to go away, and that deck is the Villas Combo deck. Now, how does this deck work? Basically, the idea is to get Villas into your graveyard. Heard? Okay. Get Villas into the graveyard. Then, bring Villas back onto the battlefield. Play a card that deals damage to your opponent every time they draw a card. Let's see, there's two cards that I can think of off the top of my head. That Planeswalker and... and let's see. Hmm. <sighs> Underworld Dreamings. You get Villas onto the battlefield. Then... You have to hope that your opponent has a creature on their side. Then you swap the creature and Villas, then you end your turn. That's all you do. You end your turn, you give your opponent Villas, and when they draw a card, and then at the start of their draw phase, you s is it, well, whatever. Uh, actually, let me see. I'm sorry. It goes your upkeep, so all your lands untap. Then, you get... Then, it deals one damage. To you. But, 
Villa says you get to draw a card every time you take damage to your life. So, well, how does this work? Well, essentially, if you have more life than you do your deck, you deck out. If you have less life than you have in your deck, you lose. So, this deck, how to get rid of it. One, get rid of Ugin. Get, this, this needs to be banned. I don't care. It needs to be banned. It's as bad, probably worse than the Omnath Guard. And Arcane Adaptation. I don't fucking care that this card is... It needs to go in Historic. Granted, this deck needs to go as well, but hey, you know, that's, that's the thing. Wizards isn't going to ban Maze's End because at least this deck as is is mostly not a complete ass cancer. You're literally playing like two turns behind your opponent. Because all your lands come in tapped and yeah, it's just like this is the state of magic right now. In historic like this deck shouldn't fucking exist, but it does. What's the problem, wizards? What's why are you so scared to ban things? Just ban cards. It's not that hard. You just put out a release. It's like, hey, this is banned. This is banned. It's like you don't even have to give a good reason. Just say it's not fun to play against. This deck was not fun to play against. Because on turn four, whether it be on my turn or my opponent's turn, even after a board wipe, this is after a board wipe. <clears throat> There's only two cards that, in current standard, that gets rid of both planeswalkers and creatures and enchantments. And I'm not running either of those cards. That gets rid of Creatures, planeswalk, gets rid of everything that's not lands. It's planar cleansing and that one that's from Zendikar Rising, the the, the card that's cost that costs way too much. If you have a choice between that card that's a dual it's a dual land, whatever the hell it is. Mistake, in my opinion. Like I should have started I should have started recording this match entirely but yeah that's the thing yep anyway those are my thoughts on this it's this this match wasn't fun to play against normally well that's well some whoever says well you shouldn't have been playing historic then well go fuck yourself i don't give a shit i want to play the game i want to play the game with cards that i have